Hello, this is Professor Stephen Neshiba, and I'm here to help you out with a, a shortcut on the EdgeCM run analysis. And uh, here's how it goes. I've uploaded uh, some diagnostic runs for a couple of scenarios. And um, what you want to do is uh, choose the one or, or use the one that's been assigned to you. And uh, you'll, you want to click on this and uh, download it. And it will take about a minute, so I'm not going to do it right now because I've already, um, I've already done that. But it will download as a zip file, and you want to um, double-click on that to expand it as a folder and then move it into your desktop. And uh, so I've already done that. And then the next step that you'll do is you're going to launch uh, uh, Panoply. And uh, when it comes up, then uh, what we're going to do is just use Panoply to, to open that up directly. Now, I've already put my, um, I've already downloaded and moved that diagnostic file that uh, you will have just unloaded uh, onto the desktop, as you can see here on my Mac. And I'm going to double click on that. And uh, this may not come out expanded, but the, 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 there's two sort of important um, folders there. One of them is this thing called Maps, and the other one is this thing called Plots. And uh, first I'll show you uh, how, to, how to get to them, to them uh, use the maps. So since I'm in Panoply right there, what I'm going to do is just double click on um, that file. And uh, what we're going to want to do actually is o open up two of them so we can make differences. So we have to go back to the, the Sources browser and um, go back there and uh, then go to Open. And I'm going to open up the other one of these. So the first one that I opened was the uh, the starting years, 58 to 62. And now the second one that I want to open up is the ending years. So now I have both of those um, NC files open. You'll want to look at various of these, but right now I'm just going to show you how to uh, pick up the surface air temperature. So I'm double clicking on the surface air temperature. And uh, I just say create here. And uh, it's going to come up with a map. And that looks fine. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here for the ending time, which is um, uh, up to the year 2050. And uh, I've got those. So um, to, to uh, take a difference, what I'm going to do is go back over here and do a combined plot. And uh, just say yes on that one. And here's, the, uh, here's what you'll need to kind of look at. Uh, you see that now we have Array 1 and Array 2 here. So Array 1 is the early years, and Array 2 is the, the later years. And uh, so, and those both appear here. What, I, what you want to do is, is look at the annual averages for temperature on, on both of them. Okay. And um, because the, uh, the latter time period is Array 2, I'm going to switch this so that I can look at Array 2 minus... Uh, array one, and uh, and now I'm one final thing is uh, we have to change the scale because it defaulted to this these big numbers. So I'm going to say minus five degrees Celsius, up to five degrees Celsius. So uh, now what we have is um, uh, the final temperature in the year 2050 or five years up to that, and then uh, minus the uh, 1958 to 1963 run. So uh, that's that part of it, and the other part of it that uh, you might be interested in is I'm going to go back to the finder here, and this is the diagnostics uh, folder that you uh, downloaded. So remember, we've been we've been looking at um, at these maps right here, but as I said before, we also want to have a look at these data files that are in this thing called plots, and uh, these are trends for the entire period. So, for example, if I wanted to look at the surface air temperature, um, this is a, just a simple text document. I can just double click on that on my machine because it defaults to text edit, but you might uh, need to open with a text editor. And uh, as you can see, what we get on this is all the years from 1958 to 2050. And uh, perhaps the, uh, the first column here is the one that's going to be most interesting uh, to, to us. That's uh, the uh, global temperature, which starts off in 1958 at 13.2 Celsius, and we end up at um, just about 15 Celsius in, in the year 
2050. So um, this kind of just tells you uh, how the temperature has evolved according to the uh, A1FI model uh, from 1958 to 2050.